Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to bling out this beautiful, beautiful bling shirt that I got from Etsy from Coretta Dangerfield. If you guys are interested, stay tuned. Let's get started. Hey guys, so I'm over here at my table and I ended up buying this file on Etsy and it's from Coretta Designs on Etsy. Go over and check around. I'll leave the link below. But guys, this file is amazing and I cannot wait to use it. So I'm about to cut it out on my venture and I already got the mat ready to get put in. And let's go to the machine. Okay, so I'm at my machine and now I'm just going to set my mat in so we can start cutting up this. Okay, so I'm going to cut this and I'm going to try the light cardstock. I've never done it on the Venture, so I'm hoping. I've heard that the light cardstock setting works really good for cutting out the rhinestone template on your venture so usually on my Cricut Maker I end up using the holographic vinyl and it works perfect so let's go test this one out and see how it's gonna be and slide my mat in okay so now that I have the machine all set ready to go I'm going to knock down my lever, and after I do that, then we are going to press the button that is highlighted. So this button right here is highlighted, and we want to press that. And now it should be doing its thing. And after that, the go button should be flashing. And as you can see, it's flashing. And now, now when you're cutting with the Cricut Venture, this steps. You got to open up that. You got to press the handle down. And if it does not, if you do not do those steps, it will give you a warning on the computer, which is great. But it don't tell you what warning it is. So you got to figure it out. So now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to press go. And I'm going to show you how this cut out. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, guys, it is all done, and it took, it's 8.20 now, so it took 35 minutes to cut this template out, which is really not that bad. I thought it would probably be faster because this is a bigger machine, but, or it just took forever. Sometimes the internet don't run as fast, so. Okay, so let's unload this. And here goes our template. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna undo this and I'll show you how it's done. Okay guys, so we're at my table. So the first thing first, you wanna get out your chopping mat and, and you wanna get it prepared before you put take your template apart. I get these chopping mats on Amazon or you can go to Dollar Tree. This one's a little bended, but it's still usable. And then here goes our template. Now the Cricut cut this out good besides this piece right here where it kind of cut right through. But overall, we're going to see how good of a job it did. So, I got my transfer, I have my wing brush, my scraper, and my pickup stick. 
Here goes my black gildan medium. And now the rhinestones I'm going to use for this design. It is going to be black diamond. And these are SS10's hotfix. Then I'm going to use light amethyst. And I'm going to use sapphire AB. So... Hopefully those colors will come out looking good. So now let's start with our template. So I'm gonna start with the smaller part. And like I said, the Cricut end up cutting this up. The Cricut Venture. And oh my God, guys, look at how quick and easy this came out. Oh my God, it came out clean. So the setting that I use is light card stock and it came out beautiful. So I'm gonna put this on the side because the other pieces are much bigger. So I'm gonna do the outline. Look at how gorgeous this just comes out. Wow. Now, I haven't got none of the new flock. And, um, I'm not looking forward to the new flock. They said there was a lot of issues with the glue inside. So now I'm just going to go and put this down. And this piece can go down here. Now I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going to add the other piece. Oh my god, this is just coming out beautiful. Now I do not throw out none of my flock. And I cut more than one heart on the bottom so I can have multiple ones. Maybe I can add them in the three colors that I use and then post them around. So I always save this because you can use these as test cuts instead of messing up one of your newer flock. So always remember that, guys. I'm going to put that on the side. I'll cut that up later. And now I'm going to put this other part down. And I can actually cut the heart out, but I'm just going to leave it right there. You know, I think I'm going to cut it out. Okay, so now I got two pieces. And the best part is that you can use this small heart as a template for different colors. So now I'm going to bring my template back in. And I'm going to put this up here. And then I'm going to put this down here. Or I could have just left it as one and just taped it up. So, I mean, whatever floats your boat, guys. So I think I have all my circles all out. Looking nice and good. Nothing's left behind. And now, let me bring in the rhinestones. Okay, so now that I'm done putting my template on the chopping mat, I want to come in with my black diamond. Now, the black diamond from the baby's booty. And then I'm going to come in with my brush and we're going to brush this all in. And they brush in so good, guys. This template, well, put majority of the templates that I buy are from people that I follow. And let me tell you something, their templates are amazing. 
I bought some other templates off of Etsy and they were horrible. When I mean horrible, I mean horrible. It was so offset. They said it was a certain size and it wasn't. It was way off. I've I've done that with a couple of embroidery files too, which, you know, you have to be careful. And this file came out so cute. And so quick to brush in too. Okay. So now let's finish the U. And look at how quick that was. Oh my gosh. Okay, so just checking it. I'm going to clean this off and I'll be back to trim for that. Okay. Take my transfer and we're going to taco this. And then I'm gonna commit. Okay. So now I'm just pressing down to adhere the stone. Okay. And now we're gonna peel this up. my backing back on okay so I got one transfer okay so I'm gonna put this on the side and we're gonna work for the inside now for the top part I'm going to use the sapphire AB and this is such a beautiful color. That is so gorgeous. So now we're gonna use it down here. And now we're gonna brush these in. Oh, wow. Oh. So if you guys are interested in this file, I'll definitely leave the Etsy link below. This is Coretta Dangerfield on Etsy, and her files are awesome. Okay, so now, just want to check if I have any missing, and I'm missing one, and any more. Sometimes that it looks like they're full, until you look at them a certain way. And now I'm going to clean this up. And now we're going to pick this up. So what I'm going to do, this is the cheaper one. So I'm just going to make an anchor. And then I'm going to roll it down. And that's how I do it with this cheap one because it's cheap and it'll mess up your whole entire design and now when you're pulling this off you just want to be really careful you just want to lay it down and then put your tramper right on top and there goes the second piece Look at how beautiful that Sapphire AB is. Gosh. Okay, so now let's do the couple of other ones. Then I'm gonna take the light Sapphire. And this one's gorgeous too. Okay. 
And then I'm just gonna go and brush this in. Okay, so now I'm done brushing them in. Now I'm just gonna double check, make sure there's no extra stones. So let me clean up this mess. I'm just gonna go and taco and and here I go. I just wanna press everything down, make sure it's all in here. And now we're gonna peel this off. And now I'm going to put the backing on this and we're going to fill in the hearts. Okay, I'm going to put this on the side and that's what that one looks like. It looks pretty good. And now let's do the hearts. So I want to do three hearts and I'm going to do them in three different colors. Black diamond, light, sapphire, and then sapphire AB. Okay, so I got my transfer. Gonna anchor it and go down. And now I'm just gonna cut this up. Okay, so I'm all done blinging. I'm gonna make a hole in my template and I'm gonna hang it up with the rest of my templates and let's go back to the heat press. Okay, we had our heat press and now I'm gonna take my shirt and I wanna press it so it takes out the moisture. That's all set. I have my shirt all pressed, got the moisture out, and now let's lay our first template. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go and try to center this. Okay, so let me see how that looks. And now we're gonna press this for 12 seconds at 350. Okay, now this is going to be a hot peel. Now we're gonna do the inside. So now I'm just going to gently take my piece and I'm going to lay it right inside of the template. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to go press this for 12 seconds. Okay, this is going to be a hot peel. It's the bottom part of you. And I'm just going to lay this in. And everything's supposed to lay right in. No stone's supposed to be lapping over. Now, we're going to press this for 12 seconds. Okay. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to hot peel. Wow. That looks beautiful, guys. And now, I'm going to set these hearts around. I think that looks good right there. So now, I'm going to go and press this for 12 seconds. And then I'm going to show you the shirt. And now, 
I want to do one more press with my Teflon over it. And that should seal the whole entire shirt. Okay guys, so there goes that shirt. Now let's go over to my table. Okay guys, so here goes my shirt. <gasps> Look at that. That came out so beautiful. That sapphire AB, it looks like purple, blue, silver. It is gorgeous. And that black diamond. Oh my gosh, guys. So what you think, guys? It came out beautiful. I just love it. And this file means so much, guys. Because you are beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, you can't get no better than that. That is amazing. Look at how that thing is bling in. Do you see the two colors? The top part kind of favors like a purple, but it is so beautiful. And that black diamond, guys. Look at that. I mean, that thing is bling in. So, now I'm going to go and try it on to show you what it looks like. So guys, look at this shirt. It is blinging on fire, guys. This is so beautiful. I just love it. I mean, the file was so easy to make. It was quick and easy with my venture. Yay. And um, so guys, that's my video for today. I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please thumbs up. If you're here, welcome. How you doing? If you haven't considered subscribing, please consider subscribing. And until next time, guys. I see you guys soon. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's all you have to do. So until next time, guys. You guys stay blessed. Smooches. Mwah. Bye now.